ahead and getting my outdoor workout done because it's going to be a rainy one all day and the rain is supposed to get worse and harder I think soon so I'm gonna go ahead and get this sucker done and out of the way it's cold out here right now it is 49 degrees but I will take the cold and the rain over a thunderstorm any day I've already had to work out in two thunderstorms and I don't recommend that they're very scary and stupid but I don't want to fail 75 hard I'm kind of just walking in place I figured I'm gonna go ahead and kill two birds with one stone and I'm gonna read <laughs> just want to tell you that little tip you can read while you walk at the same time So glad I'm sheltered right now. My poor hubby though, he is getting soaked. He <laughs> he's the braver one. Um, he's got like a rain jacket and rain pants that he's wearing. So I guess only his shoes will get wet, but it is coming down. Again, I'm just glad it's not thundering out here. I'm officially walking in the rain. Is it kind of cheating to be under an awning? I don't think so. What's the difference between an awning and an umbrella? An awning is just a very big umbrella, right? So, but to make it official, I am out here in the rain. All right, back to dancing under the awning. What do you drink for breakfast? Coffee. It's like all I can see is your head. <laughs> oh, you sit at the table. You don't want to help us clean up? You'd rather eat that yummy twice baked potato and watch your iPad than help us clean up? <laughs> I'll do those first two things. Okay. You can do the last one. You can do the cleaning up part. Wait, the cleaning up was first, wasn't it? So you just said you would do the first two things. Cleaning up. Hey y'all, um, we just got back from my parents' house. We had a huge dinner and I had self-control thanks to 75 hard. Um, I was worried I was gonna go over my calorie limit, which is 2000 calories, but thankfully I stayed under and I still have about 400 calories to go. So I did awesome, but um, as you saw, just a second ago, there was a ton of food. And y'all, if it wasn't for 75 hard, I would have gorged myself to where I felt like my stomach was gonna burst. I don't love the feeling of being stuffed, but I like to eat to where I am stuffed. <laughs> I always said I wish I could be a cow because what, cows have like two stomachs? Um, yeah, so two or three, two, I think it's two. Anyways. So I always say I wish I could be a cow, but then again, I'm glad I'm not a cow. So moving on, um, I was going to show you all the to-go plates that I brought home. And from the looks of it, it looks 
Ooh, it, it looks like it could probably last more than a week, but I don't know. It may not last that long, but it's a lot, y'all. So let me show you. So we have, where's my finger? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to go plates. And y'all, I always bring my own to go plates so I don't have to borrow my parents' dishes. Now, the problem I have is we don't have room in our refrigerator at all. It is jam packed. So, I'm going to be spending um, a few minutes trying to get all that cleaned out. So, all right, y'all. Um, for 75 hard, I still have my. I have one more workout to do. I've hit my protein goal for my diet already. I'm at 117 and only need 100 grams. So I am perfect on that. That dinner right there helped me out a lot. Um, oh, my water. I haven't totaled up my water yet, but I don't have that much more to go, thankfully. And it's almost 7.30, so I'm doing pretty good with the water. Because y'all know that's the one thing that gets me every day. Pretty much every day. All right, y'all, so I will keep you posted on how it goes. I am ready for my dessert, and so I'm going to spend the rest of my calories on this yummy deliciousness right here. The other day, Millie and I made some, it's, it's Pillsbury's Zero Sugar Chocolate Fudge Brownie Mix. And y'all, I don't know if you have tried Pillsbury Zero Sugar added mixes, but they taste just like the real thing, but yet you are saving calories. Now, it's not still not considered a low calorie food, and I can't remember the numbers off the top of my head, but I think you're saving about 20 cal at least 20 calories per serving. And so that adds up, even though it doesn't sound like a lot, you know, at first, but you know, it, it, it adds up over time. And so this looks gross, <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you what it looks like, but, um, I'm going to devour some of this. Now I'm going to use my food scale. Y'all, if you don't have a food scale that really helps you, um, you know, when you're on a diet, measuring out your food, just to see how much you're actually eating, it really, really helps and um, helps you stay on track. So I'm gonna measure out 87 grams of this. 87 grams is over 300 calories. So hopefully I'll be able to eat a nice chunk of it. coming out. I might have to get a fork because it's coming off in pieces. Right. Oh, y'all, it's so fudgy. I've been keeping it in the refrigerator because, y'all, there's been so many nights. We made this several days ago, but I did not allot myself any calories to eat any of this. So I've been having to let this just sit in the refrigerator and I've had to stare at it for like days because I didn't have enough calories left to eat it. So well, I am eating it today, baby. And you know, when it comes to like doing stuff like this for your diet, you know, it may seem like, uh, I don't feel like weighing out my food. I'm just gonna eat what I want or just kind of guesstimate, but we tend to eat more than we realize. We may not think we're eating a whole lot throughout the day, but y'all, if you were to really add up what you ate, you would be shocked. And you've heard me say it before, if you wanna lose weight, <laughs> you've got to burn more calories than you consume. By tracking calories, you know, it's not that hard to do, but it's almost like it gives you permission to eat. It's almost like a budget and how, if y'all know who Dave Ramsey is, you know, he says that a budget gives you permission to spend money because you, you can see exactly where your money is going. And when you go to buy something, you don't have to feel bad about it because you've budgeted for it. It's the same thing with tracking calories. Like I know that I've got 2000 calories to spend. <laughs> and so by tracking it, it's like, 
I have permission to eat these brownies and not feel guilty about it. Or I can eat fried foods and french fries and not feel guilty about it. So tracking is really a good thing. It's not a burdensome thing. It might feel like it at first if you're not used to it, but once you start doing it, then it's like easy peasy. And I use the Fat Secret app and it, it just makes tracking super simple. So, all right, y'all, I'm gonna go enjoy this brownie and I'll see you in a little bit. What day is it? 39? I don't know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I keep losing track of the dates. All right. Day 39 is done. So I've completed everything except for my water. Let me hold my bottle. I had 12 ounces left to go and now I am at That's eight ounces. Boring. So I'm gonna drink this before I go to bed and this will be my last thing for the day. My calories, I ended up being just a little under my limit of 2000. I got 1969, sounds like a year. And then for my protein, as I said earlier, I'm supposed to hit 100 grams and I ended up with 113.37. So I am happy with that. All right, y'all. Tomorrow is Easter. Happy Easter. Please remember why we celebrate Easter. Yes, the Easter bunny is fun, but it's all about Jesus. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. We're going to bed. It is 10-11. 10 10 <laughs> <10 10. laughs> yeah. One clock says 10-10. The other one says 10-11. All right, I'm going to finish this, and then we're going to bed. All right, see you on day 40.